Hey, this is uh, Mike with America's Got Talent, and I found a uh, singer. Hey, yeah, welcome to the Tonight Show. Uh, this is uh, America's Got Drums, and uh, we found a talented drummer. Dan Schindler, you've been playing the drums a little bit on uh, the internet. Yeah, a little bit, once in a while. Just some fool around videos, you know. I saw uh, Lexi Pobleta kind of gave you a run for your money, though. Hey, yeah, well, definitely. She'll give anyone a run for her money. Actually, I interviewed her uh, at the show. And actually, Dan is uh, more than a drummer. He's the best uh, drum interviewer in the world. Oh, thanks. Uh, I don't know about that, besides me. And uh, it, no, he's number one. Dan's number one. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, um, I missed your thing because uh, I woke up late, but talk about your thing. Oh, well, this morning um, we did a presentation, a one-hour slice of our 16-hour course on social media marketing. Um, this particular course it was from was designed specifically for musical instrument manufacturers, retailers, and musicians and artists. It's called Social Media on Steroids. We have about seven different versions of the course ranging from uh, two hours to 16 hours and um, it's really teaches people how to understand what results are and what results aren't because a lot of people are just barfing stuff out on social media and don't understand that it's not working for them and in a lot of time in a lot of cases it's working against them so Lori and myself teach our course from the success we've had from the drum talk TV story within the first year we're reaching a million people a week now, in the last two years, we've been reaching 20 million people a week, and we've never spent a penny on advertising. We don't spend money on boosting posts or any of that nonsense. And for a three-year-old media company, we're, we're reaching 90 times more people than all the other drum publications put together. And it's, it's not a snub on them. I mean, we love right. them. We work with them. The whole point is that we have a passion for teaching other musicians, entrepreneurs, startup companies, even multi-million dollar companies we've worked with, how to take advantage of today's tools because there's so much talent out there in products, in services, musical talent, that we'd love to see these people get the same benefits we have as a company from reaching more people and having people fall in love with what you do because that's as close as you're going to get to a sale before it happens. It's called brand love. You know what? Uh, Drumline is in its fifth year, and I know we wouldn't be anywhere near where we are without Dan, knowing Dan and Lori, but uh, I guess having a drum teacher helps you play better. And uh, would you be my – I knew you offered me during the year, but I'm asking you, would you uh, be my coach? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I, you know that I love oh, what you do. Right. I, You know, the oh, thing I about Drum Talk yeah. TV and me and Lori, we're – we're, we're not about trying to do better than other companies or let's try and snag that interview first. None of that matters to us. We are part of the community that we cater to. And you and I both are. We're yeah. both part of the same community. We're like fans of what we do and yeah. who we do it for. We are those same people. So we love helping people in our industry, even in the same uh, area of our industry, like a fellow media company, right. you know? Yeah, just watching Dan stuff and uh, meeting Dan helps, but... Uh yeah, you know, I, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready. I'm coachable. I'm ready to be coachable. Unlike, unlike Tom Brady, who just lost. <laughs> I don't, nothing against. Uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, Tom. <laughs> anyway, I love dancing. How's the show been for you? you know Have what? you got some good interviews? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. So I guess what's your most exciting now I'll interview you. Oh here. yeah, okay. Hi, this is Dan Schinder with Drum Talk TV guessing on drumline.net. I'm here with Mike St. John. What was your most exciting interview you did at this NAM show? The most exciting I would cry over, but I will tell you I was at I got John Douglas to talk about the Van Halen kit. He's nice. At, but uh, the most thing I got I'll, I'll have to say you'll have to watch the video because I can't go through the whole thing. Okay. But I did Sheila E up at LP. And, you did who? Uh, Sheila E. Oh, nice. And she was releasing LPs, and she had her dad and stuff. But then Raul Rico Jr. came in with his family. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, that's to, cool. I can't, I can't even. That. I can't even go on and talk about it. It's too emotional. Oh, that's it was, cool. Uh, probably the, yeah. Let me know when that's up. <laughs>